What's up guys? How is it going? My name is Fedor and on my right, the stunning, beautiful Brits are back and looking great. Your name is Victoria. And today we're gonna to answer a question that has been asked of us many, many times. Mm -hmm. How did going to an HBCU change your view of America? Yes. And I feel like this applies to Fedor a little more because that's who um, the question was directed to, but right. I'm still gonna answer it also if you yeah. guys wanna know my view. Yeah, because I think your answer is gonna be interesting as well. So yeah. go ahead first then. <laughs> um, I think it was important for me to go to HBCU because as you guys know in the previous videos, I grew up in a predominantly white area in California and I just wasn't around my people. So going to an HBCU made me love um, who I am it made me love the people, my ancestors, just I just because I was immersed in the culture, mm -hmm. it was just a, a beautiful thing. And then to learn the history was very, right. very important because, you know, in, in America, you don't, in class, you don't learn about black history. So going sure. to HBCU, that was really important for me and just loving myself mm -hmm. entirely for who I am. I think that's the most important thing. Like my hair how it's curly yeah. and seeing other people like me having curly hair it was just a great great experience so i think you you are leaving some points out because probably I mean, well let me remind you of some things okay yeah i am leaving a lot of stuff what out. you what you were telling me before is like you felt like you belong oh yeah for the first yeah time. yeah so um not that like it's just a different thing you know growing up around white people them having different hair than you, them asking can they touch your hair, white, Asian, whatever race you may be, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just, you're not around your own people, so a lot of things that I, I, I didn't know. So going to an HBCU, I finally felt that I could fit in somewhere. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds like so cliche and corny, mm -hmm. but I really felt that I could connect to the black friends that I made and I was like, y'all are just like me. Like, I don't have to hide anymore, basically. Right. It's just how I felt. And it was just an incredible experience. And then I ended up with Fedora. So, <laughs> so explain yeah. how you felt. So my answer is a three-part answer. First of all, whenever I was coming here to America in general, I didn't know that there was a, such a divide between cultures. So there is black culture, white American culture, and then there is Hispanic, all those things. So like you can see clearly how there are different communities yeah. and how they're treated differently. So coming to, to an HBCU, I've learned about a black community because, you know, growing up, we see American movies, we see American shows, and who are the majority that are in those movies and shows? White people. White people. <laughs> Nothing, I'm not against that. I'm just saying that I was exposed to the white part, to the white community of America when I was, you know, in Russia through movies and shows, right, maybe right, TV shows right. as well. But coming to NHBCU, I realized that those shows, people that are in those shows are not an average American. And that's what I have. So coming to NHBCU, that's a good, that's a really, really good I've point. I realized yeah. that there are, there are communities of people and they're all different and they're not represented by the media equally. At all, so, and let's talk about black people being represented in the media. Maybe that's a di different video. Well, I gotta, I gotta say that it's changing now. But anyway, yeah. My second point is that I have learned a lot of, I have borrowed a lot of African American traits that African American people typically have. Okay. They have a good sense of humor. I think they're not afraid to take themselves a little bit less seriously. I think okay. uh, black people are not afraid to laugh at themselves when they mess up or something yeah. happens. So like easy going. Easy going, exactly. Easy word. going, easy yeah. going. Then honest. Uh, just I would say not honest, but straightforward. If something is not right, they're gonna tell you that it's not right. Like Russians. I think that's like why Russians. you like it. Yes, like Russians. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And also, I think that I am able to relate to black people more now because I've realized. Um, what they go through each and every day and i think it makes me relate the reason why it makes me relate easier to black people is because black people have gone through such adversity in the past just like russians oh, just like russians did we would we point. went we went through a lot of things like crisis like mm -hmm. you know uss are collapsing and it's just hard times hard times in russia and then hard times for african americans here, here. It, i think it brings some some sort of appreciation for life out. Dang. 
<laughs> so you you appreciate life more when you have gone through some hardships, trials and tribulations, right? And that makes you more humorous and makes yeah. you be able to laugh at yourself. Wow, babe, I never even realized that. And now you do. Why you don't throw this on the video? <laughs> I just never, we just never talked about it as yeah. deep. I guess. I guess like when I'm trying to say something, like make a point, those things will, will, will come out. Yeah, but that's a great, great point. Well, thank you, Victoria. And lastly, number three is detached from race, detached from culture. It's simply, I have learned, I have met many, many great people. I have seen how American youth not just black and just american youth mm -hmm. how they aspire to be something in life how they want to become someone how they are aspiring to be someone and i've seen that drive in people and i've met a lot of people that are actually you know on their way to being successful or being established in society and i've met a lot of those passionate and very enth enthusiastic people that i think i'm going to keep those of course connections for life so it's not like even going to an HBCU but it's my personal experience I guess yeah so wow that's babe. it and I of have course, nothing to say you left of me course, speechless of course I'm, I'm leaving some points like small points out because it's hard oh. to think of it all at once like, we didn't um, like make a list of things that I've learned you know before this video do you have yeah. anything else to add because you I'm basically good. I'm good it that's it guys that's what I've learned from <laughs> going to an HBCU and, the, and that's what Victoria learned as well and of course a great benefit was that we found each other exactly <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. We're going to see you in the next video. Okay, okay.